Well, Gaffer, sometimes in football you don't get what you deserve. Was that the case today? I think so, yeah. I'm obviously disappointed to lose the game, but I was really pleased with the way we played. With and without the ball, I thought we were excellent. Uh, we really limited them to a few chances and we always looked a, a threat on the counter. We played some good football as well. We scored a magnificent goal and, you know, it's frustrating to lose the game. Yeah, and to go toe-to-toe -to -toe with Sunderland, one of the sides chasing the top six. I'd imagine there's some bitterly disappointed lads in there, but do you have sort of mixed emotions for that reason? Yeah, listen, everyone's really disappointed in there. You know, I've said that you know, we've got, we had five game, big games coming up and we want to be competitive and we want to do well in each game. And I think today you, should, you saw the fight, the desire, the attitude was there, you know, and to come here against a team who are just outside the playoffs and um, be really disappointed to not come away with at least a point, I think it shows how, how well we did. And um, on another day, we could have easily took uh, the point, uh, if not all three. Yeah, ultimately lose the game. Where did we fall short? I think just in the final third, you know, we clinical in both boxes. We spoke about it before the game. Um, the way we conceded the goal is, isn't like us. We lost two or three headers in a row from the corner. You know, didn't pick up, and it was such a sloppy goal just to go to go in just before half time. But the lads picked themselves up at half time, and um, I thought we started the second half well. We had a real good chance, and. Um, you know, and then again throughout the, the second half, I always felt we were going to be the, the team who went on and, and scored the, the winner. You know, so we need to be better in the final third for sure. You know, it's something that we spoke about all season that we need to be more clinical in that final third, and it's something that we need to improve on. And, and we've got four games now to keep going, and then hopefully in the summer we can look in them areas and, and look to improve. Yeah, do you take lots of encouragement from the fact that you are getting in some fantastic positions, you're creating openings, you're creating chances? It is just that last little bit. Yeah, of course, and I, I think it's been the. Uh, uh, the problem all season you know we've been really competitive in nearly every game this year you know we've created some good chances we've been in all the games and it's just something that we need to keep working on and uh, we will and we've got the group of players here uh, who will keep the uh, keep going and their attitudes a different class and um, you know as i said there's some, a lot of disappointed heads in there but we're ready to go and uh, and ready to go against millwall on tuesday absolutely let's Take us through the, the goal because it's a really well worked one. Starts off with Janino Bakuna, Tahith Chung involved as well, and George Hall on the score sheet. Yeah, brilliant. I mean, uh, those are the areas we wanted to, to get into. We spoke about them not tracking runners in from crosses. You know, we spoke about Chongi being on the outside and, and, and working his magic, which he did today. And, um, you know, it's a great cross. George found the space and, you know, it's a very calm, calm finish. Unfortunately, obviously, he's. He's had to go off with um, a hamstring injury, but um, you know I thought he was outstanding for 35 minutes. The work he did off the ball was magnificent, and um, you know his all-round game today deserved the goal he got, and uh, I'm pleased he got it. Yeah, you're probably thinking about your half-time team talk seconds away from the half-time whistle, and we concede. And as you say, unlike us to lose that many headers in in the box, was it a bit of a hammer blow at the time? Yeah, it was. But uh, as I say, you know the lads pushed them soft down in there, and we were ready to go. You know I thought Joby came on, um, you know, and was that excellent for. 50 60 minutes and um, you know I think that's real important minutes under his belt in such a difficult uh, arena to come and play but he looked very much at home and uh, you know it's vital minutes for him and you know overall obviously it's, I'm really disappointed to lose but there's lots of positives to take out of the game. Yeah, absolutely I'm sure you could come here at one all as the, the clock's ticking away and try and shut up sharp try and take a point but it felt open it felt like we were trying to win the game is that how you want to approach matches? I think that's how we've done it all season you know we've made positive subs uh, positive changes we want to go and win every game we want to be on the front foot we want to go toe to toe with all the teams you know which we've done throughout the year and um, you know at the end we you know we have 3,000 Birmingham fans following us home and away, home and away and you know to, we, it's most important that we put a performance on for them and I think overall we have done that this year and you know I'm disappointed that they've got to travel back all the way to Birmingham on a defeat but I think you can see that we, we still had the fight and the desire to try and win the game. We know Ahmed Diallo is a, a dangerous player here at Sunderland, how do we prevent that goal, the winning goal? Yeah, well, I thought Austin uh, defended him magnificently well all, all game, you know, and obviously he's cut on the inside and he's took a couple on and, and he's, he's, he's put a fantastic finish in like he did at home, you know, so, you know, listen, they've got quality in that final third, you know, he's a, he's a, he's a top class player at this, at this level and um, unfortunately we just couldn't see it out. Yeah, and then obviously comes the red card. It means we pile on the pressure until the end. You still think that there may well be that last little chance for us to snatch something from the game? Yeah, it gave us um, a bit more uh, belief, I think, with them going off. You know, the, the, the lads kept, kept playing and kept working hard and, you know, uh, we got in some real good areas again. And, and again, I think it just comes back down to de decision making. You know, uh, we, we had two or three real good half chances and on another day, if we if we're 
if we're taking them and we're, we're thinking about the situations properly, I think we could have scored another goal. Yeah, disappointing result, but lots of positives to take from it. On to Millwall on Tuesday, another side that are chasing the top six, but a challenge that I think you'll look forward to and, and the players will look forward to as well. Yeah, we've just said that in there. You know, we've come to one of the one of the top ten teams in the league and we've gone toe to toe and we've, we we deserve to get something out of the game. The game against Millwall is going to be exactly the same. You know, we know what to expect at, at the den and you know we're going to be competitive and see where it takes us. Very finally, Gaffer Maxime Collin makes 250 appearances for the club. He joins quite a select group of players who have played that many games here at Birmingham City. What sort of player is he to, to deal with? How impressed have you been since you joined the club with him? He's been a magnificent player for us this season, you know, and, and over the years at Birmingham to, to, to reach 250 appearances is a fantastic achievement. And um, listen, he's a true professional. He's a gentleman on and off the pitch, you know, and um, we've been really fortunate to have him at Birmingham over, or over the course of the years. And, um, you know, I'd love him to stay. And uh, I think I'm sure everyone would. And um, I'm sure that's a decision he'll have to make. But uh, from a professional point of view, he's been different class and uh, you can see his performances have been um, 8 out of 10 every week, he never lets you down and you know we could have a few more like him.